There has been a lot of criticism that this World Cup is, is taking too long, and I have to say I, I, I do agree. I think six and a half weeks for a World Cup is too long. If you look at the, the next nine games that are coming up, there's probably only three or four of them that are going to have meaningful games. Um, no disrespect to the associate members at all, but to be honest, I wouldn't have them in the World Cup. I think if you had the, the best eight teams in the world <coughs> excuse me, competing against each other on a daily basis with two games every day, you could condense it down into a three, maybe three and a half week campaign, and every single game would be a good game to watch. Uh, whereas at the moment, I think we all agree that um, there's been some games that have been totally and utterly one-sided, and that's, that's no good for the, the test playing nation, and it's also no good for the associate members um, because they're not learning anything, all they're learning to do is how to lose convincingly in every single game and, and that's no good. So that for me would be the way to go, to go ahead. But having said that, to have this tournament on the subcontinent has been a big plus uh, and the ICC do deserve a small pat on the back for, for, the, for hosting the, the World Cup in India. I think they've done it brilliantly. The crowds have been fantastic, they've been well supported and it's been a good advert for 50 over cricket which has taken enough stick in the last few years. So congratulations to India and the subcontinent with Sri Lanka and, and uh, Bangladesh for hosting the tournament but it's just too long. I think this World Cup has made a massive difference for the 50 over game because since the advent of T20 the 50 over game was really dying on its feet. Um, it didn't produce any memorable cricket, um, it didn't produce any surprises, uh, a side batting first made a good start, uh, the middle overs uh, dawdled along and then probably a bit of explosion at the end. But this time, with the power plays and the fact that after 34 overs the ball is being changed has meant that we've had a lot of surprises and um, the, the fact that power play, batting power play has often turned out to be the best bowler at least um, against the Indians who have not worked out when to take the power play both against um, England and more particularly against South Africa they really uh, made a complete mess of the power play whereas Pakistan have done much better and so to an extent has New Zealand and how to judge the power play has added a further dimension so what has happened is we've seen much more unpredictability and which is what you want we've seen matches like the um, Irish astonishing victory over um, England or to that extent Bangladesh's um, great victory over England uh, both surprising results and both probably unimaginable before this tournament began.